Hello, hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club, with your midday market update for Monday, the 18th of June. <clears throat> Is it my imagination, or did the Greeks just kick the can down the road again? Which well, certainly looks that way to me, and certainly the markets are reflecting that, particularly in the euro against the dollar. But you know, all of this to me is sort of a sideshow. The most important thing right now is the uh, potential major problems in the Middle East between uh, Egypt and Israel and some other things that are happening there. So that's definitely something to watch out for. But also, you may want to take a look at, uh, if you're not a Market Club member, you want to, may want to try this out for just a month. I think you'll really enjoy it. But uh, in not only that, we also have other things that are available for you to help you become a better trader. So give us a call or join the club, and I think you'll really get a lot out of it. So let's go to the uh, charts now and see what's going on. This is, as always, the S&P 500. The S&P 500, as you know, closed very well on Friday. And you can see the signal right here is a daily uh, signal. But let's just take that away. And you can see the weekly signal occurred on the 11th, which means you should be out of the market if you're a long intermediate term traders. The trend is longer term down, as witnessed by our monthly trade triangle. And you can see that's still negative from 1312.45. Now also, if you put the Fibonacci numbers in from the highs, scope this down to the lows, and you can see we are right up there that the 50% levels are 1340, 1341, right around those levels. That's a 50% retracement from the highs that were seen uh, right here and the lows that were seen right here. So what that means basically is the market came down and it's rallied 50% right here. And that's normally 50 to 61.8%, uh, which is 1359, 1360, let's call it rounded up. This is going to be uh, what I consider to be thin air for this market. I think it's going to have a real problem going much higher than that. The other thing to look at is we are in a situation where we're overbought, much like we were here and here. Not to say it can't go higher, but uh, it's just in interesting to see where we are on the Williams percent. Oh, now, the other thing that's standing out to me, which I just want to show you, share with you as well, is the potential for a Harami or a doji line, and that is, let me just take this off uh, the screen, and you can see this line right here, uh, basically the market opens and closes pretty much where it was. I think that the longer term trend, the monthly trade triangles are going to prevail in this one. So the other way to play this is to simply put a very simple trend line in from the lows right here and scope that up. And I think if the market were to break that trend line, I think that would be a negative uh, to the downside. So I think you're looking somewhere on the 1325 level tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, let's go to our next market. That's the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ isn't quite as positive because it really didn't get anything going on the upside. It's a little bit positive today, but it's really sort of been going sideways for a while. We're in an overbought condition. Uh, which is interesting. We're not quite as high as we were back here, which means a potential divergence. Uh, and if also if you put the Fibonacci retracement levels in, you sort of you sort of got close to not quite the 50% level, but certainly the maybe 40, 45% level. So something to look at. Let's go to our next market, which is the Dow. And the Dow basically. We'll put the same Fibonacci line in because these are all people, professional traders look at this. This is not something we just sort of draw on the screen for fun. A lot of people, traders, professional traders look at this and look at where you are now. Remember we said about the thin air and that's right between this area here which is 12,841 and 12,687. So you're right in that area right here is where I think the market's going to have problems. Certainly, you've started to turn down a little bit with the Williams percent R, and I think this could be a real interesting indication. A slight bearish divergence, but not very much, not, not noticeable. But certainly, this is, uh, I think, the next couple of days. This week will be a very, very interesting week because we have made a new high, and depending where we close today could be the key to this market. So let's clear the screen off, go to our next market. And we actually had three signals today on our, well, actually more than three, but the three I want to share with you today are signals that I think are pretty important. And the one is, the first one is Union Pacific. And there's the monthly trade triangle that kicked in today at 
$116.14 uh, is $116.69, so a little bit of profit in that, but let's scope this out just a little bit further. Boy, that looks nice. That looks really pretty in terms of the base, a large base going back almost to, well, almost to the beginning of the year, and we're making new highs for the year. Excellent. Let's just scope it out just a little bit further. I have to say you have to like this market because it looks to me like you've got a situation where you have a energy field right here and we've broken out above it and it looks to me like we're headed higher and how high can we go I would say probably from the 105 level 115 let's say that's 10 one, uh, maybe 125 which would be a nice move on the upside but certainly the monthly weekly and the daily are all positive plus 100 new high ground this stock is bullish no question about it no matter what happens that is a bullish stock so let's take the off the screen and go to our next market and the next market we're going to be looking at this let me just clear this off the screen is going to be the silver market silver market is I only have one word for this I'm not going to spend any time on it it is boring nothing going on there so next market is something will happen with silver something will happen to gold but it's not there yet this is the uh, the other one we had is uh, Paychex, symbol P-A-Y-X, uh, looking really good. That's a monthly trade trend. It kicked in today at 32.24. Market's at 32.25. You can buy it pretty much where it is and scope this out. And again, that looks like a nice, uh, let me see what the highs were back here, 32.67, 32.70. So 32.67, that would be a new high if we get up there. We didn't quite do that today. 32.33 is the high so far today, but it's looking very, very good. And if we just put a close only chart, you can see it's looking, it's had a nice move up, certainly from 29.95, 29.90, 29.50. And it's not going to be a big mover, but it's certainly moving in the right direction. But uh, I still like the, uh, the other one, the um, Union Pacific. So let's go back to our gold market and go back to the metals. And you can see the metals really haven't, let's scope this out just a little bit further. And you can see just draw, if we draw some trend lines, very simple trend lines from the highs down here. And really it still has some ways to go in terms of getting over this level. I think the 1700 level is going to be a very, very key level for this market. And right now we're sort of just locked in. i will scope this in closer for you and put our trade, uh, you can see this market's really not doing anything that's just too exciting. And uh, bears watching, though, gold is going to be a very big player in the future. Plus 55 in the no score, which means it's a trading range. And I think that's the important thing to look at. So let's go to our next market. And the next market we're going to look at is going to be copper. Copper really did not, has not acted well today. It didn't act well on Friday. And uh, minus 65 is somewhat in a trading range, but nonetheless, longer term, our monthly and weekly trade triangles are negative, indicating this market could go lower or should go lower. Uh, the big thing to look at in my mind is if we just put a close only chart on here, uh, you can see pretty much it's very flat. I would say we could draw a tight trend line, uh, which is a little bit of a trend line here, right? Just from here to that level there. I think if we close below the 335 level or 339 right now, I think that will portend to further downside action. So let's clear the screen, go to our next market. The next market we're going to be looking at is crude oil. Now this is a big one today. It has a big, big negative on the downside today. Key level to watch here is 82. A close below 82 sets this market up to test the 80 level. And we're just backing forth. If you put our uh, candlestick charts on, you can see we've just sort of been moving sideways for a while. And let's just scope this in just a little bit closer to just uh, six months, actually three months. And you can see we have a minus 100 on our score, trade score right here. And we have just sort of really sort of set the tone right here. That's, that's, that's kind of like the trading range right there between the highs, I'd say around about 86 and the lows about 82. So if we see this market close down here, uh, that's going to be a, not a good sign for this market. And let's just uh, clear that screen and look a little bit closer and see what we can find out with this particular commodity. And commodities are going to be very, very key in the future here. And I think it's definitely worthwhile paying close attention 
and you may want to, we're going to be publishing our World uh, Cup portfolio a little later on this week. You'll be able to see that. But uh, generally speaking, you can see this market has not done too well. And uh, definitely the 82 level is something you want to watch. So going to our next market. And that's the euro dollar. This is the one I want to share with you because I think this is very important to see. You know, the euro, uh, the Greeks may have just escaped or kicked the can down the road again. But the euro is telling you that it's not good and there's going to be more problems there. So let's just do what we want to do. Let's put our, our very simple trend line in here from the lows to there. And we can probably draw a trend line from here to here as well. So this, to me, is not a, not a positive pattern. In fact, it's a continuation pattern. And if we scope this in a little closer, let's go to uh, one month. You can see that basically we're just sort of, we've got a small rally going into a longer term negative force triangle. 1.3969 is the signal on the long term. Short term has gone up. Intermediate term means, means you, if you're an intermediate term trader, you should just probably wait for a while for another signal. But this is what I, I want to share with you. And very simply, this is an engulfing line. This whole candle is an engulfing line because it engulfs this particular candle stick. If we close lower tomorrow, so if we let's say that's the type of situation we see on the downside or just a lower close, then basically this is a uh, this is confirmed, meaning this is a top. And I think at that point in time, this trend line that we've got here is going to be very important. If it breaks below there, let's say it closes below the 125 level, I think we'll see this market come begin to come under pressure. And certainly this level here, the 124.50 level, uh, if we just put this on a, let's just clear this up a little bit uh, and look at this on just a close only chart, you'll see some of the key levels we're looking at. So let's just go to a close only chart, which is easy to do with Market Club. You just simply click on the icon right here, line graph, boom. And uh, we can move this, uh, let's see, we can move this, oh, let's just get rid of that and get rid of that and just do a new one. And you can see it's not quite there yet, but certainly uh, a close below 125.50. It's 125.82 right now. Would not portend too well for this market. I think that's uh, definitely the longer term trend that remains negative. So let's go to our next market. And that's going to be the Reuters Jeffrey CRB index. And this is sort of flattened out. It hasn't done anything. But the law, if you scope this out for more than a few months, you can see the trend is very clearly on the downside with our trade trends, the monthly and the weekly negative. And it looks to me like we're going to see this market continue down, particularly if we see a close below 269. So this is the key level to watch, in my opinion. If we see a close, uh, close below, Two sixty nine, I think it's very negative, and it'll set it up to go down to the two fifty area, in my opinion. So let's see how that plays out. But you do have your weekly and the monthly trade triangles both negative, which are important, and you get a minus ninety score indicating the trend is down. So you would be trading with a trend at that point in time. So let's just uh, clear the screen and let's see what we have in our, in our portfolio. I think we have one more stock, I think, but maybe not. But uh, we'll take a look. So let's just go to the portfolio. And yeah, Johnson & Johnson, that was the other stock I wanted to share with you today. J&J &J is a symbol. And you can see that's a new high. Uh, if we scope this out even further, it looks really, really nice. My favorite, of course, is going to be the uh, Union Pacific. I love the way this, this chart looks. Uh, it's a plus 100. And you're in new high ground. Certainly, if we close up towards the highs, it's going to look very, very good. And I think we'll see another swing to the upside, maybe up to the uh, the 125 level. So, hey, this is Adam Hewison for Market Club. We're going to be back uh, tomorrow, so I hope uh, you're all having a good trading day. And remember, take advantage of that one month, limited time only, Market Club for one month. Just go to Market Club, start, the, click on the button, start the trial button, and you'll be good to go. And also, I think there's a lot going on in the marketplace. Definitely take charge of your own portfolio. It's the only way to go. Don't rely on advisors, because 
they have their interest at heart, not necessarily your interest at heart. So Adam Hewison from Market Club. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a great trading day.